What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Liger and KD and together we are the Nintendo Duo we are basically thanking y'all for coming to our channel we talk about games you know in general but we are the weird couple out of the channel that have a Nintendo systems Nintendo systems only so you know we don't have we don't like games from um, Microsoft Sony you know the Vita iPhone we play games all all over on each other system but if we're gonna put money to our value that's what we do so right now we're gonna talk about 2014 and 2014 was a uh, awesome year for for Nintendo just like last year yeah, uh, we're gonna have a we're gonna have, we're gonna have a discussion about that later on when we get the time. But right now, 2014, uh, Nintendo took a lot of money from us. Yep, a lot of money. Holy crap! Between us and all the games we bought for the 3DS and the Wii U, the Wii U and the Amiibo, we spent over close to a thousand dollars in 2014. Around around that much. Yes, that that is that is that's that's bananas. <laughs> you know what I mean? That is crazy. So 2014, 2014 goes down as a year as a lot of third third party developers um, have a bunch of glitches, game breaking bugs, uh, nickel and dime you for a lot of DLC. Games need to be online to play in the first place. I mean, those are the stuff, you know, that I don't, as a gamer, I don't like that. I don't like those, and I I, I wish a lot of people could see that. It, uh, patches, you don't need a lot of patches. I don't, it's, patches could be good and it could be bad, but when you got to patch a whole game from the get-go, Assassin's Creed Unity, you know, or patch a lot of stuff, like a, um, um, I should say, yeah, why should I say um, Master Chief Collection, uh, the, uh, the online battle system, stuff like that, Battlefield, it's that's getting annoying. That's really good. And I feel for you gamers out there that love those franchises and they're doing that for you. But I would uh, again, please, if that they, if you're if they're doing that to you, don't buy the games. Wait a while. Assassin's Creed, Creed Unity. If you love that, if you think that game's gonna be as great as it is. Wait a month, two months, three months. Technically speaking, unlike Nintendo games, when you wait a while, the price drops. So you can pick it up instead of sixty dollars. You can pick it up for forty dollars. You can pick it up for maybe thirty-five dollars. So if if I were you and you want to get that game, wait a while. Like for us, for like I, I you know what? It was one of the biggest. This year also had a lot of hype games. Destiny, Watchdog, and it felt flat, but. Destiny came, uh, not Destiny, Watch Dogs came to the Wii U. I'm not buying that game brand new. I'm buying it you. Not because I don't think it's an alright game. I think it's because of, one, uh, and basically, developers lately has been getting crappy. Ubisoft. Ugh. Really. I, I have talked to really Ubisoft, not, not these game more, of course, but you know, people at Ubisoft and some of them are angry at what's going on. Including what happened back in 2013 when the development crew who wanted who did uh, Rayman Legends and the game was done and they wanted to release it but Ubisoft blocked them from releasing it and here's the funny thing the, the definitive version of Rayman Legends on the Wii U because it was built for the Wii U and the, and the system that sold the most was the Wii U so Ubi what the hell was that all about that made no sense then 2014, you Watch Dogs came out. Oh, Watch Dogs came out for the other systems, but you delayed the Wii U version. And then you want to charge sixty dollars for, you know what? Whatever. I, I, and then of course you have the Assassin's Creed Tetris. I don't know how you did not optimize. Okay, you know what? The developer didn't optimize it. It was not developed by Ubisoft. Here's the thing for the PlayStation 4 because it's on the 3DS and it's on um, Xbox One. But here's the thing, Ubisoft. If the game, you're the publisher. If I see a product coming and it's like, oh, this is what the product does, uh, no, don't release it. How the hell you mess? How you let a game that's messing up Tetris, an easy game, get on PlayStation 
for one of the most power, one of the powerful systems. That's crazy. That's crazy. So Ubisoft, yeah, I, and trust me, I'm gonna talk. I, I, I'm gonna have a talk. I'm gonna have a video about two Ubisofts. Ubisoft in the past when it was good, and they did what I used to like, which is optimizing the system. And Ubisoft now, when they're just basically taking a big dump on everybody, really, from from the, the from the lion, from the R problems. Oh, it works better at 60 at 30 frames per second other than 60. Uh, homie, you're not even touching 30. You're touching 12. That's sad. When your game, and also when your game faces glitches out, all you can see is eyes and teeth. That's freakishly weird. It's nightmarish. Yes. So, you know, and also hype up the game. Destiny came out. I have nothing against Destiny because my friend has that game, plays it. The, the core of the game. And that's, again, when you listen to our channel, we talk about the core of the game. The core of the game is shooting. That is rock solid, no problem. The, the problem with Destiny was they did the, the stuff that Capcom did, which I hate. Why lock the content on the disc? You paying $34 extra for content on the disc. That's bull. That's crazy. You get, I bought the game and you locking the content on the disc? Nah, I don't like that. I got paid thirty dollars extra. Nah, I don't like that. That's one. That's the part that I don't like. Two, and this Destiny gave you a subpar story. It's all right. Online plays what it is. The grinding is kind of rough and everything, and it's not gonna last ten years. They said the game's supposed to last ten years. It's not. I can tell you that right now. It's not gonna last ten years. Whatever. Maybe the online play because that's the fun part of the game. But the core of the game is good. And that's what that's why I always look at game. If the game is shoot 'em up and does very well, and I've seen, I've seen people talk about that, and I've I've, I've seen it that it, you know Bungie did a great job. If you like Halo, the sights are good, the, the shooting don't feel off. That's if you like that about the game, buy it. That's what it is, the core of the game. And then everything else, then you dissect and you know weigh what you think about the game. But the online, uh, the DLC locked on the disc. That's a no-no for me. I ain't buying no game like that. That's crazy. 2014 also ushered in the first year of PlayStation uh, 4 and Xbox One. Just like Nintendo, the first year, and I, I'm gonna do a video about this for Nintendo too, but the first year for any system, any generation, is always sparse. No matter what system it is. So, so I don't bash Sony or Xbox for having a sparse first year. It's, it's just like everybody bashed Nintendo last year. In my opinion, I had stuff to play, and I guess I'm gonna do a video about that. But they have, um, you know, they had a, a very sparse first year. It's cool. That's what it is. It takes a while. To, you see, when you you see the difference between Sony and Microsoft with Nintendo is that Nintendo, um, how should I say this? When they built, they when they built the next console, they optimize. They basically in-house start developing way early on their games so they look so that some of their games look good Not like mario 3d world it came out the end of the start of the year but it looks awesome you know what i mean um but with playstation and, and the microsoft they are not that kind of um what do you call it they don't have the first party you know jump to do that and their first parties are sparse so they, 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 they really depend on third party but the problem is now that they unlock the system the third parties could do whatever they want and the publisher could do anything they want now you're getting broken games game glitching bugs dlc out to yahoo microtransactions uh, uh the next thing that's 2014 that i don't like and i've seen the games you need online get online to play the game that's crazy i want to take a disc home and all the contacts on a disc and play the game now here's the thing when you take the game this from nintendo and you put it in you have to do an update to make sure that the game is you know is you know is yours and all that stuff it takes about a couple minutes but you're not getting no content from the internet if you don't have internet you could play that game fully and enjoy it not most not the, not most third party games and triple a games on xbox and sony because they need the internet the crew needs the internet destiny needs the internet you can't have a single play game without the internet that's starting to be like a drm kind of situation and i don't like that i, I hope nintendo don't go that route i hope you you guys out there who have those systems stand up and say hey I wanna, if power goes out, if internet goes messed up or whatever, 
I could play the game and have fun with it without that without the internet. Please stand up and talk about. It. But you know that's the negatives about 2014. For once again, now I can say as you have not heard that much from Katie, we had 2014 for Nintendo though was was awesome for us. Uh, we we played um, Kirby Triple Deluxe for 3DS. Fun Kirby game. Very fun Kirby game. They they use the 3D very well in that game and a supernova and what you know. The boss battle was crazy too. The ending boss battle, whew, that was crazy. Love that game. Pretty awesome. Then what well, the next game we got that Sonic T2 was of course. You could you know, check out that uh, this review or basically our, our discussion about it. Mario Kart 8. We played tons of that game. And we'll be playing it over the Christmas holiday, of course. Yep. Um we synced our team to it whatever and had fun with it. Then came the summer. We got we got an E3. Nintendo showed a lot of stuff that we like. You know, Bayonetta 2, Smash. And stuff for next year like Zelda and, and Star Fox and Splatoon. Yeah, Splatoon seems like it's Splatoon seems like it's really gonna be fun. A lot of fun. Yeah, but also that was not a draw for me and Katie because you know what game we, we bought a game during that that we played as well too. Zero Striker Gunvolt. Thank you. We, and also you get Mighty Gunvolt for free. Yeah, free. We play that. It's from the guy who made Mega Man. Okay, you know what I mean. Oh man, it, it, Kenji. Thank you. Really. I love you. And I hope you put you know Mighty Number no. Nine is a good game. Can you put it on all systems? That's great. Love that. So we got that game. Uh, what do you think about that game? Gunvolt? Yeah, I love it. It gives it, it gets me back to the Mega Man roots. The ZX mostly, the Zero, because those were the most those were the Mega Man's um, 2D side scrolls that I really played a lot. And I, so much nostalgia. And it's still an awesome game because the new the new persons, the new characters, enemies, and the concept art is just like it's awesome. Into creates do some. Some great concept art, and I just love it. Yep, and also when while we both of us bought that game for both our systems, we I also picked up Guacamole Super Edition, Tobo Championship Edition, whatever you want to call it. Long name. Awesome game though. Love the game. Love the references. The, the, the Mega Man reference, the Metroid, what? The Mario Brothers. I, I Batman. Guess. I can't remember exactly, but... And they put references from Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo. More from Nintendo, but... Like, the, the party... The Castle Crashers from Microsoft. But, you know, the Mega, Mega Lucho and... Oh, Angry Birds! Yeah, the Angry Birds. Oh, man, they have so... But it is... The platforming in that game is crazy. The combat is crazy. It's very fanatic. I love that game. Um... And then of course, starting in September, Nintendo rolled out them them games, man, them games. That Hyrule and that High Warriors, awesome game. We, we both love it. Yep. Then after that, we got Bayonetta two. Woo! And one. And can't, one. Can't keep your hands off of. Do you want to touch Bayonetta? Oh yes, I do. Yes, I do. Awesome game! It is 2014. That's that's me and Katie's game of the year. The polish in that game is awesome. I mean, it's a definite buy for us. We we bought it. For, like I said, we we downloaded it 12 12 01 midnight. <laughs> that you gotta game. hop on. You gotta hop on the download times, man. Yep, man, and that's awesome. Um, after that, we went to Pokemon, which yep. is. Which is totally awesome. That nice feel strip back <laughs> to the time of the before time. <laughs> and of course, we got Smash Brothers 3DS. We enjoy it because we play a lot of online and local battle with us. Has it has slow rates on the local time, so I'll admit to that because of the interruptions. But you know what? It's a great game. Once again, if you want to get your set moves for your custom, custom moves, the fastest way, the fastest way to get it is in Smash Bros. 3DS. But the definitive version, of course, is Smash Bros. Wii U. The music, the gameplay, the oh, oh man, that game is just crazy, right? Yep. Just totally crazy. Super crazy. 
And then we got a game, and then you know, at the end of the year, we got um, Toad Treasure Tracker, which is a which is a nice, you know, kind of this slow down, slow from, down yes. from the all the hype, but it's still a good game. It's packed, filled with content. Packed with content, it uses the gamepad nicely. It's forty dollars. It's a budget game. It looks, uh, what do you call it? I mean, they, they took their time with that game. Looks awesome. Toad is so cute, and you play as Toad and Toad. It's not a Toad's gonna save Toad or Toad is save cut to the, um, the dancing stretch kind of thing. It's just they didn't want to lose their treasure. They stick with it, and bam, kept on going. Pretty cool setup. Um, also, I played um, from my point at the beginning of the year. You played um, Beverly Default. Yes. What do you think about that game? I. It was a nice. I love Square Enix because um, they have great music, they have great art style and whatnot. When they I really, played, when they put their stuff together, because what they did with the Final Fantasy VII troll bait thing and, and that, that was kind well, of game, yeah. Yeah, but I I loved Bravery Default. It was it was cute and it's, it was, it had a nice story and it was it was very fun. It was a little bit challenging, but still it was great. And, hit, and, and the background story of Beverly Fault was Nintendo published Beverly Fault to the to the West. Square Enix was not gonna bring it over, and it sold like crazy. Now there's a Beverly Default two. Square Enix, be smart. Don't let Nintendo. Get, I mean, there's an opportunity to get more money. Bring it over, and take Nintendo out of the publishing, and you make money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or oh, Nintendo, if they're gonna be J, you know, jack wagons about it. Do it again, cause people love one. So bring it over, Beverly Fault Two. Bring it over again. Also, we played. Um, I play, uh, when she played Baby Default, I played um, Izuna Eleven. Pretty cool game. I love football. We're, we're from a different country, so we say football. We don't say that soccer crap that you people say in America. Anyway, I love football. I love the arcade of it. If you love Mario Strikers. You will love this game, cause the move sets are crazy. I love the anime style. I love the f and it's an RPG setup. It's kind of like a Persona 4 thing. And that's the next game to come out. That's Persona 4. The Zuna level was pretty good. Our next one I should say was uh, that we both picked up Rusty's Real Deal Baseball. Very addicting game, I have to say. And I don't even like sports. <laughs> But it's it's the whole timing. It's a timing game. You gotta hit that timing button. That's what it is. So if you like those kind of puzzles, not I don't know how you like a rhythm game, ain't it? Like you have to have the timing to timing to hit certain things. Yep. And it's pretty good. It's pretty good game. And it's a microtransaction done the right. It's a free to play game done the right way. Cause you go, you don't have to pay a dollar for each, um, two dollars, three dollars for each game. You could haggle Rusty. His story is pretty cool, and you could haggle him down, who's the who's the in the, the shop owner of the game, to to buy the next the next um game, or next content in the game down to dollar fifty, a dollar fifty cents sometimes. Yeah. So it's a good concept with that right there, and I mean, we bought like I said, we bought a bunch of games. For 2014, 2014 was an awesome setup for me and Katie. No glitches, no bugs, all that stuff. We played, like I said, we played almost non-stop. And you have, do you have the list? I do have the list. Yes. Okay. I'll let Katie run down all the games we bought this year, and if, um, put a put a two by it if both of us bought it because we have different three uh, our 3ds systems that's what and that's what added up to two um to the thousand dollars we spent this year so i'll let katie roll them off do, do i do the same prices too no you don't have to say prices oh two gun bolts mm -hmm. bayonetta one and two which is basically two for one yes captain toad power warriors mm -hmm. mario kart 8 the dlc for mario kart 8 mm -hmm. power warriors dlc Kirby Triple Deluxe, um, Shovel Knight. Oh, I forgot about Shovel Knight. That's also a great game you gotta pick up. Woo! Pokemon, two Smash Bros. 3DS, Smash Bros. for the Wii U, Shantae, 
Shout out to the Pirate Curse. That's a great game. I mean, for Christmas, it's going to be on a Wii U and a 3DS. It's a great game. 2015, I said for all... Uh, here's a, I'll put a little caveat quickly here. Shovel Knights, great game. It's coming out for PlayStation Vita and PlayStation 4. I'm a person that if, you know what, if it's a great game other than a, a Nintendo published game, it should go for all systems because that's what that's what we're about. We want games so everybody could play. And, sh and next year comes Shantae um, Half Genie and it's for all systems. That's a, that gonna be a, a, a buy for me, for sure. But continue. Bravery Default, mm -hmm. Walk of Melee, mm -hmm. Three Amiibos, mm -hmm. Professor Layton. Yep. Professor Layton what? Oh, well, I've been Professor Layton and Miracle Mask. I have, I am, I am the Professor Layton, just like Katie's the Poke, the, the Pokemon uh, fanatic. I am the Professor Layton. I love puzzles. I love the art style of Professor Layton. I even bought the movie. It's pretty cool. So I'm, I'm behind, of course, because because I got two more games to get. I have to get the one, the, the last of the series, and of course, Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright. But continue. Inazuma 11, mm -hmm. Rusty Baseball. Twice, because we both have it. Yeah, two Rusty Baseballs. Pikmin movies, which are... Pretty good. Yeah, they're... Uh, they're pretty for $4, fun. that's not... For four ninety nine, that's not bad. They're fun. I wish they were longer. And a free Pikmin 3 and WarioWare game. I mean, Game and Wario. That's all the games we bought this year. And we had fun with every one of them. So, trust me. 2015 is looking awesome. We're gonna have we're gonna have a video about our 2015 um, look outlook. So right now, if I have to give 2000 2014 a grade, I have to say A plus because I enjoyed the hell out of it. What about you? An A plus too. Yeah, for us, for the, for Nintendo fans, we loved it. And of course, you have Donkey Tropical Freeze, that you know, Persona Q for um, uh, Persona Q. Other games that we didn't bought, we have the content, people. So if you say we we don't have no games, that's a that's a that's lying. That's not, we have we have all those games we just list off are for 3ds and the Wii U. Great content. One, two. Trust me, all those games got high reviews. Okay, individual wise might be because like IGN gave Kirby a 6 while other places gave it a higher score because it was pretty good. Um, GameSpot gave Donkey Kong Tropical Free 6 because it's too hard but other game places gave it. I'm just giving you the little quirks in where, where it's, it, it's like I said it goes through what we're saying there's no perfect games out there. But you go to Metacritic and you see all the views combined, pretty cool. All those games are up there 85 and above. Hyrule Warriors is, is in a, is a high 70, is in the 79s, but you know what? Still an awesome game to check out. So, those are all quality games, no problems. They have, um, uh, if I have to be honest, Smash had a bug, but not a game-breaking bug, like most of the other games, for the Peach thing, but that's again, that's, that was specific to one character doing one thing online. It wasn't like that messed the whole game up, like Assassin's Creed and everything else, you know, that's going on. So, 2014 is in the books, as we did this recording. Nintendo, keep it up. Have fun with this, this uh, 2015 looks awesome. And again, those are the games. If you have, if you went, if you just bought a Wii U for Christmas, those are games you should look out for or 3DS and buy that. All right. Right now, this is the uh, 2014 end of the year review. This is your boy Liger and KD, and we're a Nintendo Duo. And remember, there's no perfect games out there. What's perfect to me is not perfect to you. What's perfect to you is not perfect to me. Simply, just play your games.